Mwambiwa. Yes, my brother, how are you doing? How are you? Uh, so I'll just doing a bit of shout outs there. Um, <laughs> watching from Cape Town, East London, I can see you there. Chitungu is uh, Swaziland, Satana Liwai, I can see you there. So guys, our guest is here, Liwa Hood. We promised he's here, ready to inspire you guys. So I uh, just want to know where you're watching us from Iraq. How, how are you, Rukudzo? Good evening. We were so excited. Tafaz were there. Marvelous Rubai and lovely stuff from Kwapula, how are you? So what I want you to do, I want you to share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Many people have to be inspired. And uh, in the background there, that's uh, my good friend Mdiwa here playing Daita Mari. My favorite song, eh? Daita Mari, I love that song. So, so beautiful. Uh, hello, guys. Mildred there. Uh, inspire us over here. Definitely, this is going to be very inspiring. Admire. We can see you from KZN there. From Tinwald, I can see you. Any more from Johannesburg, Gladys Smith, uh, Mildred. Uh, so I, I want you to invite a friend, please. Invite a friend. Uh, today is going to be off the hook. You've been inspired from Highlands. Salome Chitiyonyabango, I can see you there. Ready, Tim Kwadzana. My favorite. Mudiwa Hood, marvelous. Rubaya. Hi, Mudiwa. Uh, it's meeting you there, Mudiwa. That's uh, marvelous. Velams uh, is a hashtag big fish. Uh, good evening from uh, Privy, uh, Masia, Dubai. I can see you there, Lina Bunu, Agnes Chenika, uh, Hobe Rejoice. So, guys, I want you to invite um, as many friends as possible. I want them to watch this thing live. Uh, from Dubai, I can see Lil Moyo there, uh, retired teacher Dan Elliot from South Africa. Lovely stuff. Um, and the old Daita Mari, you need to listen to the song. I love it, it's always on repeat. No, you need to affirm yourself. Yeah. Right? yeah. So thanks for the show. That's uh, Tanashi Desiderium. Uh, so I can see many more people taking each other. So I, I want us to take, we're going to start now as soon as we reach 200. Uh, we're now 192. So let's, 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 let's invite more people. Let's invite, share on your pages, share on your groups. Houston, Texas, uh, my mentor, Ms. Pedro Skatibu there. It's always an honor having you on the broadcast. Uh, Laina Manjingwa. Uh, lovely stuff, inviting more and more. Beautiful, Goma. Very powerful. We've already crossed the 200. So, guys, um, today I'm I'm so excited to be inviting a man I respect so much. I've I've met him. I've learned a lot from him. I've I've had the privilege of seeing the side many of you guys don't know. Uh, he's a transformational speaker. Uh, last week I think we were together. I think it was last week, and uh, you know I was talking to my young brother. And you know, it was very inspiring. Goma, thank you so much for that. The, the young man was really, really inspired, really changed. And uh, so, what I want us to do today, guys, is to take our notebooks. So, I want to get a notebook. We're going to learn. And, and I love the topic here um, shut up and make money. I hope you'll be able to see this. Uh, light is too much, yeah. So this is um, Leo Hood's book, Shut Up and Make Money. We'll try to post the better image. You know, I was, re I was reading this book. Um, I'll, 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 the black vision is coming out nicer from the lighting. You know, I was reading this book. I, I really enjoyed the way we're talking about friendships. That you should make money and don't inherit enemies. Like, like you shouldn't just inherit. I, I love the depth of this wisdom. Yeah. In fact, how you emphasize that people um, don't necessarily have to come from brilliant backgrounds in order for them to do anything significant. And I, I really love how you share your story in this book. So guys, I, I want you to grab a copy of this book. I, I want you to grab a copy of this book. You will be transformed, you will be, you will be inspired. And so, I'm going on here. I don't think- Yes, I'm here. You, you are a man who has done so much and um, you see, your, your level of organization, I wish many of our musicians can actually come to your level. Um, you, you've got your degree, you've got your MBA, Master's in Business ad Administration. Now you're doing your PhD in finance. You know, for me, I think it's really, really inspiring that you're, you're just not a guy who is singing there, but you're a guy who is actually up to inspiring and transforming your life. So the topic, shut up and make money. What is your inspiration for this? <laughs> Shut up and make money. 
Yeah. Well, I, I think I, 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 I once spoke to you and I told you that the biggest problem that we have uh, uh, in today's youth is that there's so much noise. You're right. Be it on social media. Instead of us uh, trying to network, a lot of people we are insulting, offending, and trash talking those who actually have made it. You're so right. when I was looking at social media, I actually realized that the biggest problem that we are having as Africans yeah. is that those who have made it, we never yeah. give them credit for making it. You're it's right. either they are thieves, they have juju, yeah. they have corruption. Yeah. Everything. I'll give you an example. In America, Jay Z yeah. is Illuminati. Yeah. Uh, Bill Gates is a hard worker. Yeah. So they, we have a. When they see Jay Z, a black man making it, he's Illuminati. When yeah. they see a white man making it, no, 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 no. This one is a hard worker. So at the end of mm -hmm. the day, I said to myself, you know what? We are having big problems as Africans. The way we think, yeah. we need yeah. to understand that there are people who are not politically inclined to any party, who can actually yeah. make it. There are people really? who have got straight path, who can actually have a course that you can actually trace and still make it. So I said to myself, yeah. you know what? What is it that I can actually say that can capture audience, that can capture people's attention and understand? Yeah. Then I realized yeah. that, you know what? I need to tell these people to shut up and make money. <laughs> you know, I, I, I remember that day when uh, we were taking the drive, and you give me quite a number of examples where people would actually have made lots and lots of money and they decided to just be shh and make money. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I won't say the names, but yeah, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of business people in Zimbabwe yeah. who had million dollar deals that yeah. were about to like uh, uh, manifest, right? Yeah. But the moment they shared on social media that I'm involved in this deal, everybody attacked them. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah. When they attacked them, the deal didn't go through. So You're right. that's one thing you then realize now in life that you need to shut up, shut up and make money. You don't right. the world does not need to know everything that you're doing. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. You see, the point you're actually emphasizing is it's it's actually okay to actually wake up even in silence and let the progress speak for you. Well, you see, many people actually talk a lot and there's very little progress. And you're talking about loud mouth that you can't you you can't ignore a loud mouth, but you can also ignore a person who is uh, making success. Go on, there's something that I need you to tell people about your background. You, you see, a person who sees you now, they, they, they are quick to think that you went to your group A schools, you went to this very expensive school. <laughs> well, you see, with, with, with a topic like this, shut up a big man. <laughs> the, the temptation for people to conclude that you were given life, you were given everything on a super platter, I think it's quite high. And, and, and I, I want you to speak to somebody. Where is your hood coming from? You know what, my brother, it's quite humbling that uh, because I've shared stage with you, uh, yeah. especially when we're having our talks, uh, especially yeah. remember if we are, when we have uh, um, transformational uh, uh, talks, even in yeah. Mashingo, we've traveled uh, different places to go. True, true. Uh, when you were sharing your background with people, telling them that you come from Mashingo and you had a yeah. very humble background, I said to myself, you know what, why is it that those who come from very humble backgrounds are so motivated to speak, are so motivated to motivate others? I, I do believe that we kind of said the same story as far as our background is concerned. Yeah. Mine yeah. is, um, I'm a ghetto boy, and I come from Chitungwiza. Yeah. My brother, Chitungwiza, where I come from, yeah. is a real ghetto. Wow. Um, I'll, I'll explain this, understand this. Yeah. At night, we had to agree, all of us, to say, you know what? We just have to deal with it. At night, quite when mama my post or so, and then got gathered. We never used to sleep. Wow. The only time that we couldn't hear Mugomo, it got zero. Tagarara. 
Yeah. That's the time you could find a or something. Do you They are now singing. They are no longer cheap. But oh, noise oh, was oh. inevitable. It was unavoidable. Wow. So at the end of the day, I grew up in Dubai. I had no peace. Noise was just part of the day. It was part of the night. It was everything. Two, yeah. leaving my house from my gate, there was a sewage that was flowing, a river of sewage. I had to yeah. jump when I was going to school. I went to a primary school called Zizai. Wow. It was second six primary yeah. school in Tutungweza. Yep. Yes. So when I went to this primary school, um, I then went to uh, a high school called uh, Nyazura. Yep. So all these schools, and I say, I'm going to send you to the mission schools. I'm going to send you to the mission schools. But my brother, my, my, my own family right now, they don't understand why I don't like beans. On yeah. Monday, I used to eat beans. Wow. On Tuesday, we would eat semp and beans. On Wednesday, we would eat rice and beans. On Thursday, we would yeah. eat salad and beans. On Friday, because it was about the Sabbath, we would eat rice and beans. Saturday, because it was actual Sabbath, you would then choose between semp and beans. People don't understand why I don't like beans right now. But mm. I'll tell you the truth. I had... I had, I don't know, but I don't know how I can explain it, but I never had good life handed over to me. Mm. I had to go for it. Wow. There's never been a situation whereby you're so down to such an extent that you have hit rock bottom that there is no other way but to go up. You're right. Are we together? So yep, yep, I do yep. understand those who probably, I do understand those who probably troll me, get frustrated, but I'll tell you the truth, my brother, Arthur. I'm not apologetic. Yeah. I know where I come from. That's why I always you tell people that us. where you come from has nothing to do with where you're going. My dad Sorry. is a bus driver. My mom mm. is a housewife. Wow. Uh, I knew the time is when we were at high school or university. I knew that every time when they call to say, those who haven't paid fees, please come forward. I never used to mm. wait for the teacher to pick me up. I knew my dad hasn't paid fees. Not mm. that he didn't want to, but he couldn't. He couldn't afford. Yep. Yep. So at the end of the day, I remember one day when I was in grade six, I asked my mom and I said, Mama, why are we poor? So mm. my dad, before he became a bus driver, he was a messenger at a company called Protea Medical Services. So I saw him, I, I would see him driving a car and I would think, okay, no, this man, my dad maybe owns a company or is a manager. That's when mm. I got to realize, no, 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 no my, my dad is just a driver. And... Get me right, because we couldn't afford the finest things in life. But let yep. me tell you the truth. Uh, with all humility, I would say this. I come from a very poor family, but fortunately, my son comes from a rich family. Wow, wow. Things wow. changed. Things changed. If my son could say he comes from a poor family, I would definitely be shocked, because I would then wonder, what exactly is he talking about? You have everything. My point is to say, where you come from is nothing to do with where you're going. My okay. greatest inspiration was my circumstances. Mm. Things that were surrounding me, poverty, poverty provoked a reaction in me. I had to react. I had to act and change my ways. I had to make a move and say to myself, enough is enough. Mm. Mm. That, mm. That's, that's technically where, 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 where I'm coming from. And I'll tell you the truth. I do believe right now I need a, I, I need some stunners, some shades, because trust me, my future is too bright. I need to wow. dim the light a little. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, I think what I'm sharing, that pretty much there's hope for everybody. And you, you don't choose your background, but you choose your future. You, you don't choose where you start from. Yes. But where you end is entirely actually up to you. And, and, and I really love that, 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 that emphasis. And it's so tremendous. And, you know, one, one of the things that I've been seeing in your book, Nkoma, is, is how much you've invested in your personal development. Um, that you've grown yourself consistently and you've been graduated with the master's cum laude. Cum laude, those who don't know, that's the first class. You've actually graduated with distinction. And I, I, I really, really, really enjoyed that as I was reading this book. Then there's something that you, you said, which is very important about training a child. I, I think it's a very important point. I, I want you to speak on that. Uh, the importance of training up each other. Yes, yeah, I think it's the uh, you, uh, uh, it's in the book of Proverbs. 
do you real do you realize what my brother when i yeah. was growing up when i was growing up when we were in church we were told that train up a child in the way that they should go You're so right. that when they grow they will not depart from it and You're all right. the preachers would end there they would mm. end there they would end there it's actually in the book i think i made sure that it was the first it was the yeah. first uh first statement that I, i i put in my book i put so, here the first statement yeah really yeah i don't know if these other guys can yeah it's, it's the introduction yeah. yes yes Trip so listen up yeah 22 yeah proverbs 22 uh uh advocate i am not a christian by convenience i am mm. a christian by conviction wow so i'm not saved by chance I'm not saved by chance. So the reason why I had to start with the word of God is because my foundation is in Jesus Christ and I'm not ashamed. That's deep. That's my faith. Very yes. Deep. So Very deep. Proverbs 22 verse 6 it says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when yeah. he is old he will not depart from it. Right? Mm. And verse 7 mm. says, the rich rule over the poor and yeah. the borrower is a servant to the lender. So you realize that we have been told that we should train our children in the way that they should go. When they yeah. grow up they will not depart from it. What is it that we should teach our children? The Bible was simple. It straight went to sec- to, to 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 verse 7 and said the rich ruleth over the poor. The yeah, borrower okay. is a servant to the lender. So yeah. the truth is what we are ought to teach our children is that the rich ruleth over the poor. And when yeah. they master these things they will not depart from it ladies yeah. and gentlemen even christ said i became poor so that you may be rich he understands it it's just like how god says with god all things are possible okay. then the same bible says money answers all things meaning that money has got a god functionality in it yeah. because yeah. we are saying yeah. money answers all things with yeah. god all things are possible You're so right. at the end of the day i do believe I do believe that Christians if you ever realize that if you are a Christian and you are poor or mm. you are broke that moment you will definitely not be comfortable yeah. it's because that's not the natural condition God desires to, for you to have yeah. Yeah. God yeah. says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 my plans are therefore not to harm you but to give you yeah. an expected yeah. end what is yeah. the end that you expect in your life So at the end of the day the reason why I wanted to correct a lot of people on my first on introduction is to tell people that they need to understand that teach your child that my brother yeah. my young brother my son whoever or a daughter or whatever it is you need to teach your children that the rich ruleth over the poor so the true. borrower is the servant to the lender that is it that we should teach children that's why I had to first use it in the book shut up and make money Mm, 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 Even the mm. Bible says that the Bible says that the voice of the poor cannot be heard. A lot of people don't realize that there is nothing wrong with desiring nice things. There is nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong, but you definitely mm. have to put in the work. Mm, mm, money mm. that you're looking for, this is not money that you're supposed to be chasing. You're right. What is it that you're supposed to chase? Find solution to problems. Solve the that. problems. Man who come along You see the, the point you're saying Goma is very interesting that, that's also what I'm trying to tell people you, you shouldn't chase money money is a byproduct yes <laughs> once you begin to do things right money is a result who come so who come M- meaning your focus should be to do the right things and the money is a result you see I always tell people if you want to invite nunzi you don't have to do it cuz it <laughs> 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 so <laughs> just put something you can know there's no way there you don't go where the conditions are right so i i think many people don't understand that you actually need to create the conditions for money and money to the viper yes go on, go on. someone has been asking here that so right now you've been sharing your story and they're saying you you came from a poor family i want you to clarify You say so is the you say is your family still poor and how is the family changed now because your life has changed Well I, I will explain um if I say my family is poor then definitely I would really be insulting the lord L- yeah. the lord blessed us and uh um, we have managed 
we have I've managed to empower my family and yes. my brothers and my sisters empower themselves to such an extent that we are now comfortable, to be very honest. We are now comfortable. But we do have relatives who are extreme cases, like uh, Jinimbi, Kenimbayo, and all the other guys. But I'll tell you the truth. In my family, there is no entitlement. Mm. Having a rich relative does not tell you or does not, you are not entitled to their property. You're not entitled to their richness. So at the end of the day, as much as I could be related to any person who's rich, I've never benefited from them. I don't get any set from them. The truth yeah. is, I work with my own hands. My family, I'll tell you the truth. In my family, what we believe is mm. I That's the best possible position that a person can actually hook you up is an advice. That's usually. Yeah. That's why, that's why, that, let me tell you the truth. It's, it means nothing. It means nothing. millions. That's not the same case. One thing you need to understand in life, if you have a brother who is rich, you are not entitled to their property or to, mm. their being, to them being rich and probably helping you. Definitely not. So people should understand. My family definitely has, has done better. We have improved. Yeah. I help my mom uh, as much as I can. Like I said, understand that my, my, my mom is still a housewife. My dad is a mm. bus driver. But yeah. of course, um, right now he drives... Uh, a very good car, a double cab, uh, and my mom, the same thing. The The issue is, I try by all means to appreciate my parents. People should realize that whenever you make it in life, mm. there is a level of blessing that parents release on your life. So remembering where you come from is very important because at the end of the day, I'll tell you the truth. Parents have got a level of blessing that they can release on you mm. as much as they are happy appreciating the effort you are putting in your life. So I'll be very honest with you. My parents are comfortable. They're happy. Wow. Uh, they still stay in Chitungwiza. Uh, well, they have a beautiful house. I will not lie. Uh, but they're comfortable. They're happy. Life is good. But as far as myself, Madiwa Hood is concerned, I am a millionaire waiting to happen. Mm. I am working towards a goal. And I'm seeing it and I believe it. The moment I visualize it, that's the moment I feel like is going to manifest in my life. The reason why I wrote this book is definitely not to provoke. It's definitely not to, to be pompous or cocky. Definitely not. I'm provoking something within the person who's watching me right now to say, okay. you have everything you need in your life within you. Mm. That's why I wrote mindset is everything. That's why I wrote mindset is everything. I always tell people, oh, Mr. Arthur, yeah. advocate, um, my brother, you know what? The world will not excuse you, but it will yep. only give you what you negotiate for. I think yeah. there was a Garai Mumba concert we 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 we, we had with uh, Prophet Passion. I demanded five thousand US dollars, and people said, "No, no, no, no! You, you definitely can't demand five thousand dollars. You're not as good as Japreza. You're not as good as Bingi D. You can't." Demand. Let me tell you the truth. I have my own price. You have to deal with it. I do not care what the other person is charging. That's none of my business. I have mm -hmm. to charge the amount that I am worth. And you know what? We ended up getting 4,000 each, 4,000 US dollars wow. each for 15 minutes on stage. That means 7.5 minutes, 7.5 minutes. I made 4,000 US dollars. That's why I tell people sometimes instead of you fighting, trolling people, going on social media, writing nonsense, this and that, shut up and make money. True. <laughs> you see, uh, <laughs> I answer my bank, volume is also low. They don't put a lot of noise on their TVs. Why? Because money doesn't like noise. <laughs> I like that one. 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 Have, have you noticed? Yeah, yeah, go on. Have you noticed that not? I'll give you an example. Please forgive me. Have you noticed yeah. not like this? Not like this. Not yeah. like this. Yeah. They, they're not shouting. It's like yeah. you can just fold this, this this amount of money. Look, you can fold yeah. this amount of money. Right? You can just fold it. It won't make noise. But if you try to do the same with coins, you know what will happen? <laughs> coins will make a lot of noise. Coins will make a lot of noise. Yeah. Coins will make a lot of noise. So, so you see, the, the, that demonstration it actually speaks volumes about the type of people you have. You've got the, the, the notes people in the coins. So it's actually up to you to... <laughs> 
where they're going to be a note or a coin which makes a lot of noise but no value or a Very note true. which doesn't make noise but is serious value you know by, by way of illustration do you know how much you have to carry in coins for you to have the equivalent of hundred dollars <laughs> No, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not so sure. But if you are to calculate in kgs, those yeah. are a lot of kgs, my brother. You're those right. are a lot of kgs. Well, let's talk about the issue of the mindset. You see, we're speaking to many people who are in Zimbabwe. You know, you know, a number of people have been blaming COVID even for an agwagwagara shutambura. Why is mindset the secret to making money? Thank you very much. You know, you know, you know what, advocate. Um, I'll, I'll say this loud and clear. Let me just shift my camera a bit so that at least you guys can see me clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say this loud and clear, advocate. Yes. Uh, yeah. There is what you call psycho cybernetic force. The yeah. psycho cybernetic yeah. force is your subconscious mind. Mm. Your mm. subconscious mind operates like a computer. Yeah. It's garbage in, garbage out. What you, yeah. what you put in is what comes out. So yeah. if you are definitely going to absorb negative energy, what comes out is negative energy. You're right. Now, being supported the by, by the Bible, the Bible says that as a man thinketh, so is yep. he. You're right. That's why I always tell people that you need to always be positive. If you mm. tell yourself that this moment... Uh, things are hard, I can't make it. Definitely you will not. Because the Bible says that from the abundance of the heart, the heart that was in being referred to is the heart, is the mind. From the abundance of the heart, speaks. So if the Bible is saying that as a man thinketh, so is he. And it's mm. now saying from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And all that comes out of your mind is negativity. Then mm. that simply means your environment is negative. And yeah. what you're oozing out or what you're actually producing is negative. Yeah. Let me tell you the truth. There is nothing that will ever come out of negativity. Yeah. So most people, like I said, I'll say this loud and clear for those who want to take this as a nugget. Excuses will always be there, but True. opportunities will not. Yeah, that's deep. Excuses will always be there, but opportunities will not. Mm. That takes me to the lion attitude, my brother. I'll explain a little yeah. bit further. Look at the lion. I think we were talking about it this other day. Look at the lion. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, lion yeah. is not the fastest animal in the animal kingdom. Definitely not. The cheetah is. Yeah. The lion is not the biggest animal in the animal kingdom. The elephant is. The mm. lion is not the tallest animal in the animal kingdom. The giraffe is. The lion yeah. is not the smartest animal in the animal kingdom. The snake, the hyena is. The lion is not the heaviest. The, the hippopotamus. Yep, yep, now I yep. ask myself, so what attribute does the lion have to make it a king? Every attribute that a lion possesses, it's not the best. Mm. But still, it has attitude. That's why I always tell people, you need to have an attitude of a lion. Are we together? Mm. I call it yep. the lion attitude. People need to understand that there is no more time to give excuses. In mm. this COVID, there are people who bought cars. There are people who bought houses whilst we are on lockdown. How are yep. they doing it? Do they have six eyes? Do they have 12 noses? Do they have 12 noses? Do they have 12 ears? Do they have six legs? Definitely not. They have the same eyes that we have. They have the yep. same uh, body parts that we have. We are still giving excuses. Things are hard. I mean, lockdown. Things are hard. I can't make it. I can't make it. I will tell you the truth. I always tell people that I'm the best hip hop artist ever. I was not born to be number two. Yep. And I will not be apologetic about it. Why? The moment I set it right within my spirit and my mind, I will tell you I get it. And right now, I have more awards than any hip hop artist in Zimbabwe. I've got 28. Oh, yep. Now, yep. people say me, you haven't heard your music. I don't care whether you heard my music or not. <laughs> I push. I push. That's the truth. I don't care whether you heard it or not. I push whatever I set my eyes on. I go for it. Whatever yeah. it is that I set my eyes on. That's why I always tell people, uh, advocates. Yeah. Most people, they will rather find an excuse than create an opportunity. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Don't rather find an excuse. There is nothing that was ever achieved at the meeting. There is nothing that was ever, or nothing that will ever come out of a comfort zone. Most yes. people will blame the government and say the conditions set by the government are wrong so we can't make money. It's true. But let me tell you the truth. Every government in any world, it's either it takes you down or it brings you up. Yep. My yep. point is to say, at the end of the day, I will tell you the truth. I am not connected to any government official. But mm. I am pushing forward. It's now high time we understand that governments in Africa might not favor our goals and visions. But yep. should we sit back and relax and say, no, 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 we needed to do that. Let me tell you the truth. One thing we ought to understand is we have Jesus Christ, the Lord, and his grace is sufficient for us. We need Amen. to go forward and understand and operate within the law. I will tell you the truth. The moment you change your mindset to make it, to making yeah. it, you definitely make it without yeah. any excuse. There yeah. are people, my brother, who are not in any part, who are buying houses. There are people, my brother, who are not politically correct, who are still buying houses. My yeah. point is, like the lion, what attribute do you possess? It might not be the best, but still, what is your excuse? Shut up yeah. and make money. You know, you know what, you to, what you mentioned is very important. So the, the lion cannot change its speed. The lion cannot adjust its height. It the can't. Lion, it can't. The lion can't increase its weight. The lion it's cannot... Be, yeah, it can't. But this is one the secret. It, it doesn't focus on what it doesn't have. <laughs> on what it has. Which is why I also think it's very important for our generation to begin to understand that we need to focus more on what we have rather than to overvalue what we don't have and underestimate what we do have. It, that's actually the secret in terms of, of this attitude. Now, when, when you talk about the mindset, you know what the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23? Mm -hmm. The GNT says something interesting. It says, be careful how you think. That's the Bible. Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Be Definitely. careful. That's the Bible. How you think is connected to the type of life that you have. And, and I really love how you capture. Guys, you find these nuggets in this book. Um, this book. Uh, yes. This book. Yes. Shut up and make money. I, I want you to grab a copy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go and discuss. People have been asking, where do they get this book? Shut up and make money. I've, I've read it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, so what, what I want us to do is to hear from where people can buy the book. Some people are actually saying they're in South Africa. They won't get copies. How can they get access to this book? Uh, uh, advocate, if you remember what you advised on the book, you told me that I shouldn't put it on Amazon yet because of piracy. Yeah. I took that mm -hmm. advice. I'll be very honest with you, because at the end of the day, if I say shut up and make money, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not I'm not an exception to be a benefactor or probably be, be a beneficiary to what I'm teaching in my book. I also need to be making money. Yeah, One yeah, thing yeah. that people need to understand in life is uh, with this book, especially those who are in Zimbabwe, if you yeah. find somebody, my whole <laughs> team, team with you are, yeah. They have these books. Yeah. We printed we printed almost 10,000 copies. Wow. And after printing almost 10,000 copies, what we are simply saying is that if you want to buy the book, you can send your relative, get in touch with me or get in touch with my social media. My team will be ready to attend you, to you. And then when you ask them, they'll come get the book. After getting the book, they'll send it to you if you're in South Africa. We'll make arrangements with people who are in South Africa so that at least you can send the book. Right now, it's only... Uh, it's only in physical copy. It's only on uh, on hard copy. It's not yet on, uh, on, on 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 a soft copy. Or because we are trying to run away from piracy. That's what yeah. we are trying to run away from. My big brother here, uh, yeah. advocate. He said to me, Mr. Mdua, um, I love this book, but um, I don't want you to put it on 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 Amazon or internet yet, because people will just take everything that you have put in the book, and just either plagiarize or just 
read the book, move on. So we are selling copies, copies for those who really want uh, 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 the book. And uh, like I said, it's available. Even if you know Arthur and you still want the book, you can get it. Yeah, yeah, fine. Close yeah. Of mine. Copies He's a very close friend of mine. Um, I'm, I, I, this is my, I'm a debut author. This is my first time writing a book. Uh, after book, actually, encouragement from Arthur saying that you are, what you possess is very, very, very deep. You need to put it in a book. So one thing you need to understand that uh, I'm learning a lot from him. Um, he is showing me the path, and he has written over. I was counting that day; they reached up to almost twenty-eight, excluding the ones that you write that are A levels, A levels, and O levels. They read your books, and actually, it's it's within the curriculum of the government. So at the end of the day, I'm learning from you, and I'm getting many directions from you. So I do okay. believe those who have access to Arthur, or probably Arthur, would definitely know where to get the book. And uh, it's not a problem. For those who really want the book, please come forward and you actually get the book. The book is crazy. It's nice. And um, it's, it's, it will provoke a reaction within you. That's what I can probably yeah. say. And probably I will say this. Listen up. Listen up. What you are doing now will determine who you will be in the next five years. You're Ladies right. and gentlemen, when you're going forward and you're driving a car, you are not going to concentrate on the rear view mirror. That is your past. Mm. You are going to concentrate on the windscreen. Yeah. I even mentioned that most people, they are struggling with their past, what they have done in the past, whatever it is that went wrong in the past. Let me tell you the truth. Your background has nothing to do with where you're going. Right. And I'll say it loud and clear. Your background has nothing to do with where you're going. I'll give you an example. Back in the day, there were people in Harare or Salisbury who were saying that we are the most, we are the, we are the cleverest people, we are the most intelligent. But there was a guy from Zimba who came and ruled this country for 37 years, who yeah. actually did us, who actually did us. The guy's yeah. name was Robert Mugabe, and Robert Mugabe came from Zimba, Kumusha, Agawea Gatonga, Zimbabwe for 37 years, and he was an art student. When I mm. attended high school, I will tell you the truth, commercial students and physical and, and science students, they used to look at themselves like say, you know what, we are the people. But let me tell you the truth. This country has only been ruled by art students. No yep. matter how much we have professors of, of finance, when they want any bill to be passed, they wait for an art student to sign the bill. An art student. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to stop looking down on people. Whenever you are studying, be it agriculture, be it arts, be it physical science, be it commercials, be it whatever it is, let me be very honest with you. Whatever it is you are doing can make you money. What you need to do is to focus and believe it in your mind that whatever it is that I'm doing right now will get me there. I will tell you the truth. From where I work from, uh, most people ask me, Good video, what exactly do you do? Ladies and gentlemen, besides me being a musician, I'm a banker. Eight to five, I'm a banker. I'm a manager at a bank. I'm the head of youth banking. I'm, I'm in charge of all youth banking nationwide for a bank in Zimbabwe. I work together. So it does not mean that I write books and I don't apply the things that I'm actually, I'm actually applying and implementing all these ideas within my workspace. I work together. And we are doing quite well. I work together. So one thing you now need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, everybody who is on this life, who is watching me right now, could be your breakthrough. But you are commenting with them. You don't bother to ask, hi, how are you doing? You don't bother to inbox. The next time you are definitely going to speak to people who are here, who are watching me here, most of you, you definitely need a PA to say hi. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, never ever look down on anyone. We all need each other in this life. So profound. Get, so profound. We all yeah. need each other. I will look at my helper, who is probably a garden boy. I will look at my other helper, who is a maid. I will tell you the truth. The direction or the signpost to go to Harare is found in Bulueo. Yeah, It's not in Harare. The yeah. signpost to go to Victoria Falls is in Bulueo. It's not in Victoria Falls. Meaning, your maid, your helper, your garden boy, your, your security officer can advise you on things that probably could help you forward. Don't look down on them. 
accept advice, interrogate it, and move forward. Why I'm saying this is, I'm saying you need to open up all your options in life. Listen to everyone. But when you are now implementing, when you're now doing, really take from those who have that experience. Are we together? Like I said, yeah. signpost yeah. to Mutare is not in Mutare, but it is in Arare. Meaning those who are in Arare are the ones who direct you to show you that Mutare is that side. Not those who are in Mutare. So meaning that I am, might not be a multimillionaire today, but I could show you the way to become a millionaire. Yes. I might not have reached where you want to go, but I could be the signpost in Birmingham to show you where London is. I could be the signpost to Br in Brisbane to show you where Sydney is. I could be the signpost in Joburg to show you where Cape Town is. I could be the signpost in New York to show you where Washington, D.C. is. Mm. Are we That's what I'm simply saying. To say mm. sometimes when we look at a person, we judge a book by its cover and say, mm. okay, what can you tell me? I've learned so much from advocates. Are we together? He's younger than me, but I've learned so much from him. He has written more books than me. And I'll tell you the truth. I'm so proud of him. I've heard him. I've seen even those, those um, snippets that you do. And I laugh and I tell people that, guys, this is my guy. I'm so <laughs> proud of him, but I'll tell you the truth. You. We feed off each other. You're you right. have to have somebody who inspires you. That can be a mentor and a friend. That can be somebody you are. The, Okay, Arthur, I've heard you saying the I've heard you say this a lot of times, and I probably have said it probably one or two times. If you are the richest amongst your clique, amongst your clique, yeah. you have, <laughs> where is the inspiration? Where are you getting the inspiration? You're if, right. if, if, if you are the most established amongst your clique, all your friends are the ones that feed from you. The truth is you are in a wrong clique. You're lost. You need, you need to take inspiration from somebody. I would say this, but I will not go deep. Arthur, you took me to your house. Beautiful yeah. house. You built a beautiful house in a very flashy suburb. And I said to myself, you know what? This man, when he speaks, he's not speaking and picking lives and experience. He's speaking from his experience. He's speaking things that he actually live in. So I was so proud. And I said, okay, 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 okay. You see the background? It's his house. Not, 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 not like a, he's a tenant. It's his house. So I rather listen to you. I rather Thank feed you. from you. I rather take that from you because I know you are living what you are teaching us. Well, so at the end you. of the day, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those who really want to buy the book, this book is not going to be bought by a person who has got second thoughts. This book is about making a decision whether you want to change your life or not. Yeah. Because I emphasized on mindset is everything. If you are tired of being poor, this is the right book that you're supposed to be reading. Mm. This book is not going to tell you that if you say, I receive in church, I receive a million bucks, you'll definitely be rich. Definitely not. You need to put yeah, in yeah. the work. Yeah, yeah. You definitely need to put in the work. You put in the work. There will not be miracles for things. Mm. If there was miracles to being rich in everything i will tell you the truth god could have just said you know what all christians be rich do you know that you can be a christian and yep. be very poor and be holy because god you know, Puma, uh, what, what you're saying is what I think many people are trying to avoid. The Bible says good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. I think that's probably the yes. this one. Good planning. It didn't say good prayer. It said good planning. <laughs> it says good planning and hard work, meaning there is a combination of two things. Number one, you actually need to sit down and plan. Then after planning... Uh, after other, other, yeah. whilst Talk you are there, yeah. If you fail to plan, you are planning yeah. to fail. Hundred percent. So either way, you are making plans. If you are True. failing to plan, you are you actually are planning. planning to fail. So True. the Bible can then be qualified that good planning will lead to to prosperity. Because one thing you need to understand: if you are failing to plan, you are planning to fail. You can go True. for it. You can you can go. And, you know, the next part is saying. Uh, good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. It also says hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. 
so you see, w w one thing you're writing in this book, we are simply saying there is no shortcut to success. In fact, this is the, the, there is no elevator to success. No Definitely elevator. not. You have to take the stairs. I'll give yeah. you an example. The yeah. reason why it did not work for Adam is because yeah. Adam was born an old man. Yeah. Adam was I just just woke up being an old man uh with so many responsibilities but jesus christ understood those weaknesses and what did he do he went through all the steps massive he became a baby wow. went to 12 years 16 years and everything that's why we say jesus the second adam was more prosperous and he achieved everything in his assignment here on earth ladies yeah. and gentlemen there is no elevator to success are we together yeah. If you want to make it in life, you need to go through this. Was that the other? I'll tell you this. You're right. I don't know if I could probably say. There are a lot of people who say, you know what? Um, uh, I understand. You realize at the end of the day, you would have, buy, you would have bought a stand here, This is the sure. truth. That's this is the truth. So there is definitely no shortcut to success. There's no elevator to success. You have to go through the, the steps. And also probably our will add on uh, advocate. Yeah. Um, most people probably won't understand. I'm a musician too, and I sing about Christ. Yeah. The Bible says that seek ye first, Matthew 6 verse 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. his righteousness. Right. And right. all these other things shall be added unto you yeah what yeah. did i do i fasted i started singing about christ i started preaching christ i was seeking the lord and after mm. i was done when i drive fancy cars these are the things that god is saying all these other things shall be added yes. unto you so at the end of the day we might also come here and lie to each other mm. The Bible says, Job's 22, verse 21, Now acquaint thyself in the Lord, mm. and be at peace, and a good thing shall come to you. Yep. So most mm. people need to understand, as much as we say there is no shortcut to, to success, you also need to master the foundation. You also need to master the principles that can actually have you have a blessing that carries no sorrow with it. You're right. And at the same time, you, you know, it's pretty funny that most Christians believe that because they fear God, they are entitled to, to being rich. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you the truth. You die very poor and very quick. And bitter. <laughs> you die very poor, quick and bitter. Yeah. Jesus Christ will give you the grace. Yeah. For everything. He will give you the grace for everything. But the work is left for you to do. Mm. Go into the market, sell. Do whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. And I'll tell you mm -hmm. the truth. God, you will not be embarrassed. But the moment mm -hmm. you believe that if you speak tongues, things will just automatically work. Uh, my brother, my sister, let me be very honest with you. Lockdown revealed to you that most of the time we used to rely on other people's anointing. Mm. God closed down the whole world and showed you that it is between me and you. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. people could not believe they can make it or do anything without a pastor. Mm -hmm. God closed down the whole world, the whole mm -hmm. world. And you were left with your mom and dad in your house, locked down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meaning, mm -hmm. relationship with God, personal relationship with God is very important and it is no substitution. Arthur, I was talking to people that it's funny how a lot of people, listen, it's funny how a lot of people would give excuses to say, God, I cannot worship you right now because I have a Manchester United game to watch. Mm. God, I want to watch Ferrari uh, race cars. Uh, I might not have time to go to church. And you know what God did? He locked down. When, he, when we had a lockdown, everything was stopped. There was no yeah. football. There was, yeah. no, there was nothing else. Yeah. There was there were no movies, there was nothing, everything shut down. Yeah. Now it was left for a person to then realize that you know what, in this life, everything can go down and shut. So true. The relationship with God is becomes very important. 
And now when we were in lockdown, you'd be surprised there are a lot of people who actually bought cars, they bought houses, invested in a lot of shares, properties, did a lot of things. Whilst you are home, you're at home. Yep. The yep. thing that you probably have bought so many times is airtime and data. To watch people shouting at each other. I wonder, advocate, I really wonder, why is it that Africans, we are so excited to see people fighting? What value is it adding to your life? What is it yeah, that is yeah, adding yeah. to your life? You want to watch people shouting at each other. You want to watch people trolling at each other. You want to watch people fighting and doing this. And it's eating your money. It's eating your data. It's spending all your data that you have. Let me tell you the truth. You are making a bad investment. Right. It's a bad investment. A very bad one. If you put data in your phone, mm -hmm. look for something that will add value in your life. Enriching yeah, right. your mind. Developing yourself to say, you know what? I would rather go to listen to advocates when he speaks about other decisions that can help me make money. You're That's right. what makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But you go rather go watch people fight on social media. After you go watch people fight, you are excited, you are happy, but you are broke. You remember the quote that you took from that you posted on Twitter to say that most people will get broke trying to please <laughs> people. Repeat that word. <laughs> I said, no, I, I'll say it again. Yeah, repeat this. <laughs> most people will go broke trying yeah. to please broke people. You're right. Yes. I'm not sure that I wrote the Antam Rombo S. I got a number of people who are going to marry to vote. Or that broke food could afford the money broke. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I always say it on my social media. If we don't get along and you don't like what I speak, don't like what I say, I block you. And I tell you, I will tell you the truth. Remember, I spoke about the psycho cybernetic force, your subconscious mind. Yeah. I don't do well in negativity. Mm. I'll tell you the truth. I'm like a fish. If you take me out of the water, I probably would die. Right. So the water to me is positive energy. The moment I feel like there's negative energy, I block and move. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah. I block and move. So when people say this, this, this and that, this, this and this and this and that, I'll tell you the truth. I just block you and I move on with my life because I will set my mind and my mindset on a goal that is very positive, such an extent that the energy that I require for me to be successful is positive energy. Only. You're wrong. You're right. You see, I, I like how you're very selective as to who you surround yourself with. Um, you know, uh, one, one person once said, if you hang around nine broke people, you'll be number 10. And I... With no excuses. You'll be, yeah. you be the 10th one. <laughs> you be. People are asking, where can they get the books? I, I wanted to share that because right now after this show, I wanted to grab a copy. Guys, you don't want to know how much Mdiwa charges to do what he's doing and also how much I charge to do what we're doing. Uh, you see, many, many people watch these things on Facebook, they think it's free. No, it's not. Uh, we charge good money to be on stage. But right now, in just a book, you get to experience all the ideas, which is why I want you to invest in a couple of these books. So, people are asking if they're in Australia, where they can, can they get the book? If they're in the United Kingdom, where can they get the book? If they're in the United States, where can they get the book? In South Africa, where can they get the book? And if they're in Zim, where can they get <clears throat> this book? Okay. Uh, at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, like I said, uh, the books right now, we have decentralized the process. What we have managed to do is, uh, for now, whilst we are actually thinking of a way of making sure that everybody who's watching us, everybody who wants to read the book, who access the book. For now, like I said, all my Facebook pages, all my Instagram pages, all my Twitter pages or handles, if you want the book, please come forward. Tell us, inbox me. Mr. Mudio, I want to buy a book. I have a team of publicists. I have a team who are looking 24-7 on my, on my handles to actually attend to you. They'll give you a number. Uh, that you can actually call for the book. And I'll probably repeat the number. I'll give you the number for those who would want the book. The number is 0772-95770. Yep. If you want the book here in Zimbabwe, you call this number 0772-95770. 0772-95770.
zero. Most of the time, I don't have this phone. So if you call, you might not get to talk to me, but you get the book. Are we together? 0772 95 Yes, that's the, that's the number. The number on your screen. That's the Perfect. number. That's the number. The number on your screen. So ladies and gentlemen, for those who really want the book, you can call on that number, text on that number, WhatsApp on that number. I'm sure my guys will attend to you and they will probably, for those who want to sign the book, if I happen to be close, to be definitely, to, to be honest with you, I'll definitely sign for you. Today, I actually signed for a few people who bought the book. Look, I don't know if you guys can can see this. I was yeah, in Blue I, I, On Twitter. Yeah, I saw I was on in Twitter. Blue yes, and also um, this guy bought two books. Nice one. This guy okay. bought two books. Yeah. And there is a lady from Kadoma. This one is from Blue Way also. I was in Blue Way yesterday. I nice. sold yesterday, I sold over 136 books. And remember, the book was not yet launched, but they just heard about it. Like, we want to buy the book, want to buy. I sold 136 books. And these guys, they are writing uh, to me saying that, you know what, Mario? This is exactly what I was looking for in the book. Yeah. I am happy. I've managed to find what is it that I wanted. Most people are uh, advocate. They have everything that they need to make money. What they yeah. don't realize, yeah. they just need that. They need to be ignited. At the same time, they need to be reminded, awakened. Because yeah. they feel yeah. like, you know, do you realize that low self-esteem and lacking confidence can be a very big factor to you not making money? Yeah, yeah. You might have all the ideas and fail to present the ideas to a person who is your breakthrough. And they will not have the confidence to say, you know what, I can not invest my money in this one, in this thing. Yeah. But you have all the ideas, everything. So in this book, I also speak about confidence. In this yeah. book, I also speak about accepting yourself and forgiving yourself in everything that you do. Lovely, lovely. I'm actually seeing it. So, Mgoma, people are saying you should come back for another show. The, the, the feedback is so amazing. And guys, I'm going to talk to Ndiwa to come back, but I want you to do something. I, I want you to invest in a copy of this book. You see, one of the things, Mgoma, what I tell people, I'm a guy who gets paid to read. That's my job. I read and I speak. That, that, that's actually how I, how I do it. Meaning, yes. grab a good book. We wrote this book. Read it, memorize it. You know what I'm saying? Then when you memorize, go and speak. And you appear to be the smartest. And, and I think um, the wisdom that I've shared in this book, I really enjoyed it. And people are actually uh, clamoring for part two. So we're going to do part two, but I want you to show your support. Um, I asked Ndiwa to come here and I asked him not to charge. So I want you to show your support, invest in a copy of the book, I'm going to persuade him so that we can do part two of this and we get into more details and get to see how you can actually change your life. But you see, I'm seeing the feedback really, really um, encouraging to get to see. And, and, and you know what, advocate? Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably, pro yes, definitely I, I, I'll come uh, to your request. I'll come. You have helped me in a lot of ways. I'll Thank definitely so. come. Uh, I, I don't think it will be an issue, even if it's next week. Uh, you can just tell me what time we're supposed to do this. And they can choose whatever topic it is that we can uh, uh, explore on. I don't think I have a problem. But I, I just need to say to people, they need to understand this. Poverty is yep. not the absence of money yep. or materials. It is You're a right. mindset. That's true. Poverty is a mindset. It is not a status. Yep. You're right. Are we together? You're right. So You're right. The moment you understand that poverty is not the absence of money or material things, Poverty yeah. is a mindset. It it's is a mindset. Money. Yes, see, it's a mindset. Someone once said you can take all the money from, from all the rich people, give it to the poor. Soon, the poor, those guys who were poor, will still go back to the guys who, from whom you took all the money because it's, it's a way of thinking and a way of doing things. So, guys, we've put again the number on the screen. I want you to inbox that number Go on the various platforms for Mdiwa Hood inbox and grab your copy. I got mine autographed. Very inspirational. I really love the message.
So I, I want you to do that, then invest in a copy. By tomorrow, grab a copy. And once you grab a copy, start reading. You see, one of the things that has changed my life in Koma is I, I read. I, I listen to, to wisdom, words of wisdom. And I, I, I love how you say it. I love how you say it. I get paid to read. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know, it's, it's, it's big stuff and quirky, arrogant, but it's the reality. It's the truth. I get paid to read. I'm a lawyer, Goma. I read. I, I get paid. I am a speaker. So if you're going to allow, invite me to speak on any topic, I just I just read this book. The next thing, I go there. I just bath. I look good. The next thing, I'm flowing. So money is a result of value. But I think that's one thing people don't understand. Money is a result of value. When you add value to yourself, money pursues you. But, but, but I think many people don't want to add value. And somehow I think they want to, to experience money. So, Goma, give people your social media handles. I know some people, they're already following you. And I want more and more people to follow you, your posts and to be able to, to see what you have to offer. Uh, those who would want to follow me on Facebook, uh, my page is, it's Mudiwa Hood, M-U-D-I-W-A and uh, H-O-O-D. Those who want to follow me on Twitter, I follow uh, its um, Twitter handle is M U D I W A H W O D. Everything is Madiwa Hood. If you go on your Google, if you go on Google and type Madiwa Hood Facebook, Madiwa Hood uh, handles, you will find all of them. All of the handles. You find all of them. And also, Misty M M Advocate. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite happy that we had to, to do the launch and speak about the book on social media. Yeah, Let me yeah. tell you the truth. I even wrote about it in my book that social media is no longer a playground. You're right. Social media is no longer... It's a make it or break it platform now. You're right. There are people who are choosing to kill their careers through nudity, leaking of nudes and stuff like that. There are people who are choosing to make more money. Do you realize that the person who founded uh, Facebook is a billionaire? You're and right. yet you are here you are actually losing money and not gaining any cent. Yet the person who actually discovered or found this Facebook, he's a billionaire. So Imagine. I tell people on social media to say that one thing you need to understand with social media, there is what you call as social capital. You're right. Social capital, that's when we then look at how your social influence can actually help you, are we together? Can actually help you develop yourself, probably make money, whatever it is. Most people do not invest in social capital. In, in, in social capital, one thing you need to understand is reputation is best protected than recovered. That's reputation true. is best protected than covered. Reputation is capital. That's true. Reputation is capital. With all the loud noise that I've made as a musician, as whatever this is, that people call me, I will tell you the truth. I'm scandal free because yeah. I know that reputation is where my money is. Yeah, that's, that's true. Where my money is. So in the book, I also explained about reputation. I also explained about about that, and I also explained depth. I also explained in depth about uh, 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 social capital. So whilst you are here on social media, you would rather network than trash talk people. Are we yeah, together? You're right. You'd rather network than trash talk people. And uh, Mr. Arthur, I am. I, I would make time if I say I'll be free. I'll be lying. But whenever you request uh, me to be here, I will definitely make time. Uh, I don't think it will be a problem because I also appreciate we 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 are now around we are, we are roughly around five hundred people. I really yeah. appreciate uh, you calling me to, to 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 actually launch my book on your page, and uh, I think those who didn't know me, they've actually realized the other side of me to say, you know what. Probably Madiwa uh, talks uh, one or two cents, probably. Well, I might yes. not say. I might say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, guys, you heard of Goma Madiwa. We'll be coming back. Uh, I want you to post the topics you want us to speak uh, in yes. the next program. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll invite him. He'll say he's going to be available uh, so that you can learn, you can benefit. And uh, we're back on Wednesday, this time on my other page, Atoni Athamara. We're studying what we call Mkoma Legal Wednesdays. I'll be answering legal questions for free. On, on wow, 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 yeah. wow. So go to Atoni Athamara, just follow it, like it, then inbox your questions. We'll be answering.
So I think this is my way also of giving back. You know, God has been gracious and uh, very faithful. So now, I've been, now, yeah, just just an hour to to get to to help people and those who have not followed this page, please follow so that you don't miss out next time you come. My guest today has been a brother, a friend, an inspiration. Um, Diwa Wooten, thank you so much. And today, many people really appreciate that uh, this live has really inspired them and challenged them. I uh, hope the next one is going to inspire them further. It's also, guys, in an Amdi Wata Wina background, we'll see you next week. Oh, when is the rather? Thank you so much. Uh, I love yes. you. Wait a minute. Come on. Song is my favorite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, Tati? I yeah? think I could probably do something for the audience. I could probably do yeah. something for the audience. Yeah. If, for I, if I... Yeah. Huh? If, if, if I... If I let, let, let me do something. Give me, give me, give me two seconds. Let me it's do okay. something for the audience. It's okay. Thank you so much. Let me do something for them. Thank you so much. Let me do something, let me do something for your audience. Sure, sure, I'm sure. sure. sure they will appreciate it. Well, love it. Anyway, uh, there's a performance which is now coming. Um, that's the benefit of being part of Barcelona platforms where you've got uh, wonderful, wonderful. People like Nkomamdi are here. So I can see the comments there. Very exciting. So those who don't want to be part and parcel of um, the legal Wednesday, it's Antonio Alcamara. just pinned um, the comment there by Michelle. So just type this page, Antonio Alcamara. Um, then legal Wednesdays should be able to experience and get to um, see more how you can benefit from uh, some of the basic information you can find in the legal circles. So, yeah, so just go to the page, follow it and like it. And today, I think you've been inspired, you've been challenged. Shut up, make money. So if you missed the first bit of this uh, live, I want you to go back and start to watch it over and over again. I cannot guarantee you that this is going to inspire. It's different from some of the live that you usually watch. This one, the purpose is to challenge you to grow you, to develop you, and to stretch you, realizing that, like it's been said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. Are we ready? We are ready, Goma. Over to you.
Advocates, yes. Well, it's a good thing that we we just need to to give uh, your 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 followers and fans uh, a performance. No, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm in my and remember when you came when you came here. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, to invest in what you really love. For those who want to see, this is my studio. I'm at my house. This is my studio. And it's it's quite big. It's a very big studio. Yeah. For those who want to see, it is everything. And so, yeah. advocates, thank you so much. I don't know how I can thank you, but I had a great time with your fans. I had a great time with your followers. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. For those who want to follow me, social media is Media Hood. Facebook is Media Hood, Instagram is Media Hood, everything is Media Hood. And Advocate, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And the, the reason why I sang a song called Ndaitamari, mm. Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Oh, yeah. Even I'm driving to Mutare or this other place, I listen to songs that shape me, songs mm. that speak to my mind. Things that I want to be in life. So, so I want to put the young boy is our now. Let me tell you the truth. Accidents is not your portion. They are not Amen. your portion. You Amen. need to also understand that there are some type of music or some type of music that you don't need to be listening to. I'll give you an example. There's a song called uh, I'm not going to confess things that I don't believe in. Right. Slaves who were in bondage composed those songs. Mm. And yet you are asking God, God, I need a house. And yet mm. you are saying, still, I don't have a house here. This is not my home. My point is to say, you need to walk what you are speaking. You need to mm. walk in your beliefs. So Hallelujah. understand that your belief system will shape who you are. That's your true. belief system will shape who you are. So my music is positive. Amen. I'm not trying to be talking when I say in that Take the words on them. You're right. On the word and speak them. That's true. Trust me, these things will manifest in your life. 
when mm. I wrote this song, I'll tell you the truth, I was still staying in my mother's house. Wow. I was 26 years old, staying in my mother's house with nothing. But I'll tell you the truth, it's different now. All these words that I spoke in the in the song, they manifested and they become a reality in my life. I'll be mm. very honest. So my point is to say, one thing you need to understand and master in your life, even the music you listen to should not leave you low. I'd yeah. it. everything that you... Shape your mind mm. towards the goals and the vision that you actually have. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a vision, someone is going to hire you to fulfill theirs. Yeah, true. Somebody hear me? If you don't have a vision, someone is going to hire you to fulfill their vision. Are we together? So, in life, mm. if you deal, if you believe you are amount to something and you want to go for it. Even the music you listen to. It's mm. the music that should leave you motivated. Are we together? Motivated yeah. to do something. Be inspired. Are we together? Mm. Yes. So there are types of songs that I personally don't listen to because I don't want to be always sad and looking low and because I walk in positivism. Are we together? Yeah. You're right. Thank you very much, Advocate. You know, I'm grateful. Some of us, we were born to talk. If you don't stop us, trust me. <laughs> we'll just be talking. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we're now going behind the scenes. We'll see you next week. Uh, don't. So, guys, we'll catch up next week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this.